people are gonna think I'm crazy after watching this. These are really morbid dreams that I'm going to be sharing and if you guys are queasy or very terrified of dreams that you can have, um, I would recommend not watching this video. What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I put on some pajamas. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the fact that I kind of consider myself a lucid dreamer. So if you guys want to hear what lucid dreaming is really all about, and if you want to hear some of my really crazy, crazy dreams, then just keep watching. You know, I never considered myself to be different when it comes to dreaming until I've told my crazy dreams over the years and people are like, you need to write a book, you need to journal your dreams because you just have the weirdest dreams Ever. Basically, anyone can have lucid dreams. A lucid dream is a dream during which the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming. During lucid dreaming, the dreamer may be able to exert some degree of control over the dream character's narrative and environment. So basically, when you're dreaming, you realize that, hey, I'm not actually doing this, I'm just dreaming, and you're able to be like, well, since I'm dreaming, I want to fly, and you're able to make yourself fly. It kind of started when I was a kid. I had reoccurring dreams constantly. One was where I was at a water park, like an indoor water park. There was like water and then there were like docks lined up and then tubes lined up next to the docks so that you could get on it and go on the ride. My whole class was there and we were getting on these tubes and the tubes started going along, you know, the guided river and you would get to a tunnel. And as soon as we got to the tunnel, I was able to spin and look at what was on the other side of the tunnel and it would be a giant waterfall. Like you would die if you went down at waterfall. So I remember just panicking and being like, oh my gosh, we're gonna go down this waterfall. And every time I would get to the edge of the waterfall and just start dropping and then I would wake up. There was one time where my mom actually found me on the floor and she was like, why are you on the floor? So I guess like in that dream, I did actually fall on the floor, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Throughout the multiple times I've had that dream, I always tried to change the outcome. I would be aware that, hey, I've experienced this before. I'm going to do this this time or I'm not even gonna get on. There was a time where I was able to not get on and then I watched like my classmates go down and once they reached the bottom, that's when I woke up. There were a lot of times where I would have a really, really good dream. I would wake up, but then I wanted that dream so badly, I was able to fall back asleep and start picking up the story. Like I knew I was dreaming, so I was able to change what kind of happened. I've also experienced sleep paralysis. I believe it's what it's called. It's basically where you're sleeping and then you think you wake up and you can't move. You can't get up, you can't do anything. And then you feel like you're completely trapped. You feel like you're paralyzed. For the first time it happened to me, I was really, really scared. I dreamt that I just woke up and I was, you know, opening my eyes, like I saw my room and I would, you know, turn to get up and get out of bed. And then the next thing I knew, I was laying back down in bed again. And I'm like, I just got up. I'm gonna try this again. So I would get back up and before I knew it, I was back laying down again and I was so confused. Like, why can't I get up? And then each time I try to get up, I'd be able to get up less. Like, I wouldn't even be able to put my feet on the ground and then I wouldn't be able to move and then I would just be stuck there. And there were times where I just felt this looming creature over me, like a shadow that was just right over my face. I knew that something was holding me down and preventing me from being able to get up. And I was in pure panic. When I finally woke up, I was so relieved. I think I actually like started crying a little bit because I was so terrified as to what just happened. I think it was a couple months later, I had it again. Except this time, I knew I was dreaming and I was trying to like move, like jerk myself so I would like wake up in real life. What I found out is that if I completely relax, like take deep breaths, completely relax. I am able to wake myself up that way. And it felt really good knowing that I knew, even though it did happen again. I've also had dreams where I would wake up in the middle of the night, wake up, I was still dreaming, but I'd wake up and I'd be sick. Like I couldn't breathe or I couldn't move. I knew I was dreaming, but at the same time, I needed someone to wake me up or someone to move me. I would try to scream in my dreams. I would try to make noise. 
um, so that my parents would wake up and they'd come. Now I've had this dream multiple times and there was one point I'm like, hey, this has happened before. I really want my dog to come in and like, you know, touch my hand. If he touches my hand, you know, maybe I'll be able to wake up. So there were times where I actually was able to dream that my dog came in and touched my hand and like was trying to pull me off the bed and help me get to my parents. I, I guess as I have like multiple dreams, I'm able to kind of figure out if experiences before I think I'm dreaming, I want this to happen. I've had pretty disturbing dreams about a lot of natural disasters. And in those dreams, I am actually kind of able to control the natural disasters, like make them go a certain way, make them affect certain people in the dream. I, do you know that I jump bodies in dreams? Like I'm like, oh, I'm this person, but I really want to be the other person. I am able to be the other person for a little bit. I actually did have a dream a couple nights ago. I don't think I was aware that I was dreaming, but I definitely was aware that I did could have had control over the situation. I basically dreamt I was going to prom. One of my best guy friends asked me to prom. I had no idea who this guy was in my dream, but apparently he was my best guy friend. And I was in this gorgeous dress, all glammed up. And apparently there was this prom tradition where you took like a letter board, you know, like those boards and you like put the letters in and you know, can change them out and stuff. You had to like put a quote or like a really nice saying on them and then you went around your neighborhood and hung them up. Like whether you put them on a tree, put them on a house. I don't remember what it says, but I was showing my guy friend that, hey, isn't this, this is what I did, isn't it really cute? And he's like, oh yeah, it's so cute. And I'm like, hey, can you hang this back up? And he's like, yeah, no problem, like let's go. We had to like, go through the woods and there's this really steep entrance to the woods. It was like rocks, it was really muddy too, but it was it was also night, like it was dark. So he was trying to climb this hill and I remember thinking, oh, let me follow you because you know, you need help, you're gonna fall. And so I tried climbing up, but I, I it was slippery and I had heels on, so I'm like, you know what, this is just a really bad idea. And in my mind, I remember thinking, he's gonna fall. I didn't know I was dreaming at this point, but I definitely knew I had control over whether he fell or not. So I just remember thinking, okay, he's gonna stand up and he's gonna accidentally lose balance and lean far back enough to fall. And that's what he did. There was a point where he kind of like paused like this. And I remember thinking, oh, he doesn't have to fall. He could just fall forward. But then in my mind, I'm going, no, he's gonna fall back and he's going to hit his head and he ended up hitting his head even though the way he was falling he would have landed on his back. As soon as he did that I remember running over to him and looking at his face and his eyes were just like wide open and then I woke up. I've had really crazy dreams. They're very weird, very random. People have told me like, what the heck are you drinking or eating before you go to bed? Like I don't eat or drink anything crazy before I go to bed because I have such vivid dreams and I'm scared that they're gonna be even more vivid. Oh my gosh, there was this one dream. I don't even know if I wanna say it on the internet. It's so weird, it's so bizarre. I don't think I had much control over the dream, but at the same time, I felt like I dreamt it twice and the second time I had the dream, I was changed some things that had happened. But basically, it was a dream. I was with my class, we were going on a hike, and all of a sudden, this girl comes running from behind and she's screaming, it's coming, it's coming. And we all turn around and we see this crater coming toward us, like not like a hill, like that's like following us. It's like a crater and it's like following us. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's coming, it's coming. And all of a sudden, the crater goes into the girl's leg, shoots up her leg and out of I think her thigh or something and she's dead. And it's this worm, it's this giant worm and this other baby worm. And the giant worm's like, I need to go into a hole in someone's leg because you know, my baby, I want my baby to grow. And there was a classmate that was like, oh yeah, no problem. I have a hole in my leg you can go into. <laughs> like what? The worm's like, oh, thank you, thank you. And so the worm and the baby go into the hole in his leg. Like, it's just literally a hole. So like, they keep going in the hole, in and out of the hole, in and out of the hole. And all of a sudden, when they come out, like this one last time, the baby had evolved. So the mom worm turned into a wolf, this gorgeous gray wolf. And then there was another slightly smaller wolf, which I assumed was the baby. And they had both evolved into these gorgeous wolves. And I just remember them saying, thank you. Thank you so much for letting us evolve. And then they just run off howling into the distance. 
Why I dreamt that, I don't know. So yeah, those are some of the crazy dreams that I've had. I have a gazillion more. All right, you guys, so that is the end of my really interesting, odd, lucid dreaming kind of video and my experience with lucid dreaming. So if you guys liked watching this video or if you have lucid dreams yourself, give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, have you guys ever had a lucid dream? What was it about? Or like, what was your craziest dream? Let me know down in the comments below. Please tell me I'm not alone when I'm having these really crazy dreams. <laughs> also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. I'm not as crazy as my dreams, I promise you. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see more of me, more beauty and lifestyle videos and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button right down below. I hope you guys have a super normal, not crazy rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.